Well, hello and welcome to Shane's Hobby Shop. Today we're going to do a challenge. This is for the Summer's Woodworking Creative 2 before Challenge. It's put on by Brian Gidney and every year he does a 2 before Challenge. But this year he's doing a 2 before and a Birdhouse Challenge. Unfortunately, I won't be able to get into both, but I am going to do the 2 before Challenge. And this is my entry to his challenge. Alright, so stay tuned and let's see what I can build with a couple of different 2 befores. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut all the boards down to the length on my miter saw. Now we'll be having 9 degree cuts and some 10 degree cuts and some 15 degree cuts. I will have a cut list on my Facebook page as soon as I can get one made up. Now we're over on the router table, I'm going to be taking my back slats and my seat slats and only rounding over the top side. Not the bottom side of the board, but just the top side. Now this is the back brace. There's two of them on here. And I'm going to go ahead and take that point off of one corner there. So I'm just going to go ahead and give me a nice little round over. And then we're going to go back over to the router table and then round that over too. Now that I'm just going to be rounding over one side of the top and also the bottom. Now we got a bunch of sanding to do. It helps if you do the round over by hand. Just put some sandpaper in your hand and you can sand that down pretty nicely. But on the flat parts, we're going to go ahead and use the sander here. Now we're over to my Craig jig. I will have all of these uh, screw pocket screw holes laid out in my template for you to uh, use. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead, I'll be pocket hole screwing the back slats and also the seat slats. Now it's time to put it all together. Now to put this together, I'm using glue, uh, pocket screws, and also deck screws. Now you may be thinking you have seen this cheer plan before. That is because you are correct. Jay Bates has done this chair and a bench in this pattern. This is actually his design that I'm taking, but yet only thing I'm modifying to the plans is that I need the chair to be a little bit taller than what his plans call for. So I made my legs a little bit longer. And in order to keep the legs from sticking too far out, I've also changed the degree cut on the legs and also the leg braces. Again, this will be in the plan that I'll be having on my Facebook page for you to follow. Now, Jay Bates, his plans calls for everything to be cut at either a 90 or a 15 degree. 
Now my legs and my leg braces is at a 10 degree cut. Now but yet the backrest is still at a 15 degree angle. But everything else is at a 10 degree. Now I went ahead and did the other side off camera. But one thing I forgot to record is putting that bottom cross brace on. Now here I am putting the very first feet slat on the chair. Now I said earlier that I rounded over the top side of all these seat slats and back slats. Except for this one board. That very front edge I also rounded over the bottom side of just that one edge. So this particular board has three corners rounded over but not the fourth one. And the reason why I done that is I'm also pushing this board up a quarter inch forward hanging off the uh, chair by a quarter inch and now I'm going to go ahead and glue it and screw it down from underneath with the pocket hose. Okay now I went ahead and flipped the chair over to help me do the other seat slats. I'm now going to put the very back seat slat on the, on the chair again with glue and pocket hose screws. That uh, one screw there will be hard to get to. You might need a little extension to do, to get to it. Now the others, I went ahead and just placed them in there with the glue already on them. And you see the little stick on the side, not the pencil, but the little stick. That is a quarter inch spacer that I cut on tail saw. And uh, that way I'm spacing out all my boards a quarter of an inch. And there's another little picture there. You can see how I'm using that quarter inch spacer. And that spaces out all the boards. Now on the floor now, when I'm going to go ahead and put the very first the back slat up on the chair. The first one's always the hardest one to do. Again, with glue and pocket screws. All right, now we flip the chair over and I'm actually got it back up on the table saw. I'm using that same quarter inch spacer and I'm going to space out the rest of the boards, gluing them and screwing them to the back. Well, there you go. That's my entry to 2016 Creative 2 Before Challenge put on by my friend Brian Gidney, who has a YouTube channel at Summers Woodworking. Now, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. My name is Shane. This is Shane's Hobby Shop. We'll see you next time.